What's up guys, how you doing? Thank you very much for checking out the video and welcome back to Carlo Craft Bushcraft. If this is your first time here, my name's Alex and this channel is all about learning and developing bushcraft skills. Today I'm going to do another video on my uh, practicing uh, elementary bushcraft skills playlist. Uh, today I'm going to attempt to make decent feather sticks. Um, so for those of you that don't know, uh, I recently enrolled on Paul Kirtley's online elementary bushcraft skills course. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, and one of the first modules is on uh, creating really, really good feather sticks. They're an absolutely brilliant way to start a fire and kind of one of the, uh, the fundamental skills, if you like, that uh, the bushcrafters need. Uh, and it's actually something that I've really struggled with. Um, no matter how I've tried to do it, I've always, uh, I've always, really, I've always failed. They've never been particularly good. I've never been able to get decent curls. Uh, namely because you know I had no idea what the proper technique was and all that kind of stuff uh, and I think my biggest my biggest flaw was the uh, materials the base materials that I actually chose to make my feather sticks from uh, I don't think I ever chose the right wood correctly I would always use the wrong bit of the wood as well I always ended up picking bits that had loads of knots in them and didn't realize you know what kind of difference that would make so, uh, so anyway so I've uh, enrolled on this bushcraft course and he has a really cool really detailed video on how to make um, decent fire uh, decent feather sticks or fire sticks these in feather sticks. So I thought today uh, it's a really nice cool day. Um, I've got nothing else to do so I'm back out of my camp and I thought I would spend some time um, practicing and trying to make these in feather sticks. Um, I brought all of my different knives with me to see if they make any difference. Um, so what have I got? I've got my, uh, my Mora Bushcraft Black. I've got my uh, Mark II TBS Boar Knife. I've got a, uh, a Bear Grylls, a Gerber Bear Grylls folding knife. Uh, and I've also got my new Castrum number 10 uh, bushcraft knife as well. So my plan is to um, spend more time than I, all, than I ever have done before trying to pe pick the right piece of wood to use. Uh, and I thought it would be cool to use um, all the different knives uh, and see if I'm better with any of them, um, if any of them seem to work better or others. Uh, but really the main thing is to, is to hone the technique and try and get it down. So, uh, so there'll probably be uh, lots of frustrations today. Uh, I tend to find that if I'm not good at something straight away, it tends to annoy me. So, uh, so I apologize in advance if I get frustrated. Anyway, uh, it should be a lot of fun uh, and I hope you enjoy watching it. Let's get to it. I've been out into the woods and I've harvested uh, a fair amount of dead standing wood. Um, I think one of the issues that I had before when I was trying to do this stuff is I would uh, tend to use deadfall, stuff that's just lying around on the ground rather than stuff that's actually um, standing up. And, and I think the I've learned recently that the biggest problem with that is where it's horizontal, moisture will seep, in, seep into it, whereas if it's standing, it tends to stay on the outside so the wood on the inside uh, is still very dry, which is what we want. Um, I also noticed in the uh, on the course that the sections of wood that uh, that Paul was using were much thicker than pieces that I'd used previously, uh, and he split them down into eights. So I'm going to try and replicate that if I can. Um, but the next thing to do is process all of this because obviously it's all quite long uh, at the moment, and a lot of this uh, I don't think is going to be usable for feather sticks. Because what I want is wood that's as straight as possible. Uh, I think it needs to be quite long, so I think it needs to be roughly sort of maybe arm length, maybe a little bit shorter, but about that kind of length, uh, and as not free as I can get it. And a lot of these sticks, as you can see, have loads of knots in them. Now, I don't know if this goes all the way through. I think this piece as a whole is probably too thin anyway, uh, but I thought it would be cool to actually try different um, thicknesses of stick as well, just in case, uh, just to try and practice the technique, I suppose, and try and learn different woods more than anything else. Um, I have to be honest to say, I have no idea what these uh, trees actually are. Uh, in terms of their type, I don't know if they're birch or oak or what. Um, that is something that I know I need to work on, but for the time being, I'm just going to have to <laughs> have to get on with it. So uh, I'm going to get to processing this. I'm going to try and cut out sections using my saw, using my backhoe, uh, Laplander, uh, spits that are as straight as possible and as not free as possible. Uh, what I'll then do is batten them down into eights if I can, uh, and then look at the way the grain folds, the natural, natural um, twist of the wood, if there is one, uh, to see which pieces we can use for feather sticks. Um, I say this like I know what I'm talking about. I have no idea if this is right, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a go at it anyway. So uh, yeah, I'll get back with you once I'm, uh, once I'm done processing. So there's a fair, fair bit here to get through. All 
right, so I finished processing my wood. I just used my folding Baco Laplander saw to, um, to cut them up. And I've tried to keep them sort of arm length, generally, uh, where I possibly can. I don't know if that's right, uh, but as I said, the, when I saw Paul doing it, the pieces of uh, material he was using were quite long, so I'm gonna assume that that's correct and see how we get on. Um, it's very, very evident that some of these pieces of wood are gonna be better than others. So these pieces here, uh, they're much denser, they're nice and hard and thick, um, as opposed to a piece of wood like this, which I don't know if the camera can see, but you can see they're all rotten and they've got holes in, and they're very, very, very hollow sounding. Um, so I'm gonna hazard a guess that these are gonna be pretty useless when it comes to making fire uh, feather sticks. The only piece of sort of decent wood I can see is right in the center of there, which is not even as, uh, as wide as my fingertip. So I'm gonna hazard a guess that they're gonna be rubbish. Uh, and ordinarily, one would just throw them away and not bother you know, even attempting to use them. But as this is a learning thing, um, I kind of want to, I kind of want to see what happens um, if I try. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but anyway, uh, now that this is all processed, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, use a knife to batten them down. Uh, into, if I can get them small enough, into eights, because uh, that's what Paul Curley did. So for this, I'm going to use probably use my um, my bore knife, namely because it's the biggest kind of heaviest duty one I've got. It's full tang, so that the so the blade is one, uh, the blade and the knife is one complete piece, which means it's not going to break. The uh, the mora that I've got, I don't think is full tang, uh, and the Gerber is, uh, as you saw, is a, is a lock knife. So that's definitely not going to work when it comes to trying battening down, particularly these bigger ones, because the lock will just give way uh, and the knife will get stuck. So uh, yeah, so let's get on with that. You see how this piece of wood is curved? I'm hoping this is in the shot. I don't know the best way to split this. Now, the thing is, I mean, this looks like a fairly punky piece of wood anyway, so I don't even know how good it's going to be when it comes to fire. Uh, feather, I keep on fire sticks, feather sticks, but I don't know. I think this needs to be maybe broken down again, perhaps. So maybe if I do it, try and split it this way, kind of try and go with the curve. Yeah, I'm really struggling when it comes to this bit. Let's see if I can make sure that I'm centered. Try that again. Hmm. Don't know, maybe it's the wood. Anyway, let's keep going. See, this bit really didn't go well, did it? <clears throat> anyway, let's keep going. So what I'm doing now, having split them all up, is trying to find the bits that I think are the best for feather sticks. So I don't know if you can see this in the camera, hopefully you can. There's loads of knots like on the inside of this piece of wood. Like it's not very even, it's all very bumpy. Uh, there'll be lots of things for the knife to snag on uh, all the way along the piece of wood. So I think that's not gonna be a particularly great one to use. So I'm gonna put that to one side. Uh, whereas this one, for example, um, feels a lot smoother. Doesn't feel like there's as many bumps or, or knots or nodules in it, if you like. So I think that might be a better piece to use. So I'm kind of putting that to one side. Um, so I'm gonna put my better ones, or at least the ones that I think are better on this side, and we'll start with those uh, and then see how we get on. So again, I don't know if you can see, but it's all bumpy and knobbly inside. So I don't think that's gonna be any good. Now, if I remember correctly, this initial bit of wood on the surface, uh, we kind of need to get rid of before we start trying to make curls, I think. So I'm going to try and do that. But you've actually got a kind of a flat surface to work on.
that spiky bit under my... Yeah. At the moment, uh, I'm not trying to keep these curls on the, on the stick to make the feather stick. I'm just trying to smooth down the surface, almost like planing it in woodwork. Um, I've also seen some certain people say that a good technique to try with, uh, when you're first starting is to keep your arm locked uh, when you're doing this. Apparently it helps you maintain the angle of the knife better. I don't know if that's true. I seem to be struggling and biting in and then coming out again, so... I am also trying to use the part of the blade closest to the handle of the knife at the moment. One key thing that should be mentioned, of course, is your knife needs to be really sharp. Uh, I did sharpen these before, um, so I hope that they are good enough, but I don't know for certain. One thing that I should be doing that I'm not doing at the moment is starting and finishing in, in the same place. So whenever I start a cut, I need to start in the same place. And whenever I finish, I need to finish in the same place. This doesn't feel particularly smooth to me. I don't know if that's because of the wood again, or because if it's because of my cutting technique, I don't know. But uh, either way, I'm now going to attempt to keep the curls on the stick and start creating a, a feather stick. So uh, wish me luck. Instant fail. Just be trying to remember the technique that Paul was talking about. splitting wood. <laughs> no. Alright, well that's that gone. Okay. Tell you what, let's try a bigger piece, shall we? Maybe that'll that maybe that'll make my life easier. Now there's a bit of a knot there, so maybe I'll start below that. So I guess that is attempted for this stick number two. Oh, which is rubbish. Look at that. Anyway, <clears throat> we won't give up. We'll keep trying. <clears throat> okay, let's put the more away. Let's try the Mark II bore, just to see if that makes any difference at all. seem that my bore is blunt, so it's not doing anything at all. 
Well, that's very disappointing. Look at that. Not doing anything. So, case in point, if your knife isn't razor sharp, because I thought this was, it's really not going to do anything. Alright, well we'll ditch that then. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Try the bear grills, Gerber. The problem with the Gerber is it has this serrated bit on the bottom of it, which I think is hugely hindering me, so I'm not, not going to recommend that one, <laughs> or even bother trying to use it, because it's just cutting up this piece of wood uh, drastically, um, just helping me. So, I'm going to ditch that for now, <laughs> take on yet another piece. Try this one, and we'll get out the castrum. See how we fare. Shouldn't be having to put this much pressure into it. Anyway, right, I'm going to turn the camera off for a bit because it's likely that I'm going to start swearing fairly shortly. Um, so, and I keep practicing and I go back in a bit. And if there's anything good to report or if something goes really badly wrong. Well, I'm done for the day. Um, to say I'm frustrated and annoyed would be an understatement. Um, I'm actually fuming 
that I cannot figure out this technique. Um, it's annoying me so much, and I just think if I continue to stick at it, I'm just, it's just going to get worse. So, uh, so I'm going to have to uh, leave it for today, which is not to say that I am beaten. I am not defeated, and I will figure out this technique. Um, I mean, part of the big problem is, is I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing wrong and where. Like, I don't know if the wood that I selected was wrong, or if I battened it the wrong way, or if the knife isn't good enough, or the knife isn't, knife isn't sharp enough, or the angle's wrong, or how to maintain the angle, and, and all that kind of stuff. You know, not, not having somebody with me that knows how to do this stuff and, and help coach and guide me is, is, uh, is kind of a, a hindrance. It's really annoying, but I'm doing what I can. But it, actually, if any of you guys know what I'm doing wrong, if any of you could see what was happening and were like, Alex, what are you doing? That's definitely not going to work. Uh, you know, please, please, please tell me, tell me what I did wrong. Tell me the, what I need to do. Is it the wood that I use? Is it the knife? Is it the technique? What, you know, what, what is it I'm doing wrong? Please help me. Uh, I think this is probably my best attempt today. Uh, I don't even want to call it like a, a half decent attempt because it's, it's not, but that's about the best I got. I mean, there's, there's other ones like this, which is just, just awful. And this, which I'm almost embarrassed to show you just, oh, rubbish. I mean, this, like, like what, what is this? What is that? Ah. Anyway, uh, anyway, anyway, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Um, thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sorry that that I suck at this uh, for now, but as I said, please, please help me get better. So, uh, so thank you very, very, very much for watching. All right, wind, calm down. Calm down. Thank you very, very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified, and I will see you very, very soon with another practicing elementary bushcraft skills uh, video in my playlist. Take care, guys.